what's up you guys welcome back to my channel I'm sorry I'm starting out like this probably scaring you half to death with the way my hair is looking yeah guys this was like a week old maybe wash and go I mean you see it it's just it's a mess you know it's matted my ends are dry they're just I mean a mess but you all have been asking me how do I get my wash and go my defined curls and so what better time than show you now so Starting off with freshly washed hair, you guys see it. This is basically how my hair comes out after I wash it. It's a little bit more frizzy than usual here. I think I had done some things before I actually came back and started the video. But yeah, my curls are usually springy, nice and detangled, so let's get started. Our one product today is leave-in conditioner. Yes, you guys, African Pride Olive Oil Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I swear by this stuff. Um, I've been using it literally since I first went natural. And it is what we call coin conscious. Yes, ma'am. We don't spend a lot of money. You see, I use this stuff so much. I had an empty one. But we have a full one, so we're ready. First thing, you want to section your hair off. I usually just get that bottom layer and put the rest up. And just so you can see what my curls are looking like before we start, so you can tell the difference from when we get them nice and defined and juicy. But they are bouncing and behaving right now, so I'm not mad at that. So here's what the product looks like. I grab kind of just a glob of it and take a random section of hair and just start finger detangling with that leave-in conditioner all the way from the root down to the tip and making sure the leave-in conditioner is nice and smoothed out throughout that entire piece and I just kind of keep going until my fingers can run through it with ease and no more uh, tangles. I know you see those bouncy juicy curls, that is what we want. So then I'm just going to go take the next section and do the same exact thing. I've zoomed in so you guys can really see. I'm finger detangling and just, you know, not really pulling too hard when I feel tangles, but just kind of allowing the hair to separate with a little bit of pressure. And the more you rake your fingers through it, it really ends up feeling like the tangles just disappear. So as many times as you have to rake your fingers through it, just keep raking and it'll get easier. And you're just going to continue that process. So I've set it up for you guys, but I do want to explain about this product and why I love it so much. Not only is it super cheap and available at like Target, Walmart, pretty much all of those places, it also is very um, lightweight. It's creamy, um, but it's not super, super thick, but it's like just thick enough. <laughs> it gets the job done. And I realize it won't be ideal for all hair types. I consider myself to be about a 3C4A. Um, so that hair type, it'll be perfect for you. As you see what it's doing to my curls. Really hydrating them. Um, bouncy, springy, really defining them. Which is perfect for uh, the wash and go look that we want. And here I just want you to see the difference between the curls I defined and then that section of hair that's left. It really does make a difference to finger detangle with this leave-in conditioner. And this is the final look once all of my curls have been defined with this leave-in conditioner. I just love the way that they look. So bouncy, so hydrated, so silky and shiny. I love this product. So you can totally stop there, or if you're on the go, kind of like I was, then I'll go ahead and stretch my hair with a blow dryer. So basically what I do is I grab the ends of my hair very lightly because I don't want to mess up the curl, but I'm actually covering up the ends um, to kind of block them from the blow dryer. And I'm adding like a light pressure, so I'm pulling but not pulling super tight. If you pull super tight while you're blow drying, it'll literally straighten your hair like a blowout and completely ruin your curl pattern. But yes, just a light amount of pressure and focusing that heat on the root of my hair. Um, if you have a diffuser head um, or a diffuser connector, then that'll automatically do what I'm doing here. But I don't have that connector piece for my blow dryer. I probably should just get one. Um, but yeah, I'm basically doing the same thing but manual labor. So I do not completely dry my hair when I do this. I allow 
um, the rest of it to air dry. I probably dry about 80 to 85 percent of my hair and then I let the rest air dry to kind of capture the moisture. I've learned the hard way that if you completely dry your hair it comes out stiff and straw like <laughs> and dusty. <laughs> We're almost done here guys and I'll be right back with the final look. And the church said amen to the beautiful defined wash and go. This is the final look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's so helpful for you. If you happen to give it a try, let me know all about it in the comment section. Share it with a friend, like, and don't forget to subscribe so I can catch you around for future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.